Welcome back inside Domo de la Feria. It is the finale, the final game of group play here on day number five. Colombia taking on Mexico here in Lyon, Mexico. These two teams will be jockeying for position in the bracket in Group B play. The fans waiting patiently here for the action to get started. And before that does, we're going to show you what happened here in Group A and how things shook out after the final between Argentina and Venezuela. It was actually Cuba that was eliminated. So here are the final standings. Brazil 1, USA 2, 3 is Venezuela, and then 4, Argentina. Those top four teams will advance to the quarterfinals. Meanwhile, Group B is still being settled. This game today will settle everything out for us. Canada, we know, has secured the top spot. Puerto Rico, Colombia, Mexico. Dominican Republic has not a win. So it is believed that Dominican Republic will be eliminated. And so Mexico, Colombia jockeying and posturing for the highest seed possible. Welcome inside, Despina Barton alongside Javon Shepard. We welcome Team Colombia out into the court. They are technically the home team, but will act as a visitor here with all the starting traditions. And Javon, what can we expect between tonight's matchup? Well, for one, Colombia has to have a short memory from the beating from Canada, and they have to have a sense of urgency. You gotta come out here and one, to show what you have, two, play to your strengths. And just don't get flustered under the fans, uh, the Mexican fans here. They're going to get loud. They're going to get excited. And so are the, the officials, right? So you just can't play into that. you got to play your game and be calm, be cool, be collected. And Team Mexico and their fans getting on their feet as this team will storm out of the locker rooms. This Mexico swan. Defeated Dominican Republic on night number one. Fell to Canada, then had a rest day. And then the last outing was a loss to Puerto Rico. But during that game against Canada, they lost one of their young stars, Mariana Valenzuela. You see with the crutches, she has not left the team's side. And this group led by Lindsay Harding, making her head coach debut for Team Mexico. And before we get going here, we're going to stand for the national anthems. First for Colombia. for the home nation of Mexico.
It is loud here inside the Modele Feria. The fans fired up. Teams meeting at midcourt. Coaches shaking it up. And Coach Harding, she's ready to get to work. A look now at the officiating crew for tonight. Cuba, Brazil, Argentina, all represented in this cast take their roles extremely serious. A lot on the line today between Colombia and Mexico in this nightcap of a contest here in Lyon, Mexico. Javon, for you, what will be a couple keys to the game? Guard play. And for Mexico, Payan, Beltran, and Ramos have been, you know, if not up there with some of the top guards in this tournament, right? And I want them to come out and have another big game, set the tone for their team. Starting five, you're looking at on your screen from Mexico, Luna, Beltran, Payan, Ramos, and Hernandez. Beltran and Payan have been the steady starters from start to finish here for Mexico. They came in with the number seven power rankings in the tournament. That's their head coach, Lindsay Harding, making her America Cup debut. Lots of NBA experience and recently named the head coach for the Sacramento G League. It's been a pleasure covering her. I know Javon, you and I have had a lot of fun watching her go to work on those yeah, sidelines. She has tremendous energy on the sidelines there. And I can already tell she's a player's coach. You know, just watching her work. The men's national team representing the head coach here, sitting front row. Hoping to bring some six-man action and support to the women's side. So both of these teams will be advancing out of the group play. Now it's all about who will have the easier path in the quarterfinals. If you are the bottom seed, you will face number one, Brazil, to open up. If you are the third seed, you will face USA. What a surprise. What a gift. The team rallying around Mariana Valenzuela there with the knee brace and crutches. She went down against Canada and her team has come out fiery. They want to make sure they leave it all on the court for their coach and their teammate. Paz in the circle with Hernandez. And we're underway. Mexico wins the tip.
Hernandez pump fake. Beltran's the engine for this offense. A lot runs through her and Payan. Extra pass in the paint. Gobbled up by Colombia. Rios pushing. Muniz loses her defender. Rebound tracked by Ramos. Luna, first three ball for Mexico oh, and it drops shot. in. Pick and pop. All right, and Luna's hit a number of those from that same spot during this tournament there. Great job by Beltran finding her. Mabel Martinez surveying. And a foul away from the basketball. A push against Mexico and Sofia Payan. Gonzalez left alone. That one's short. The fans let her know that they know it was short. <laughs> Here's see Luna, pick and pop action, knocking it down. Luna tries it again, the opposite wing, long two misses. Martinez quickly gets the ball into Rios' hands. Inside game, Paz trying to stick with it. Defensive pressure, Mexico handles. Free throw line extended, a miss there by Hernandez, but Mexico another chance. Payan squaring up on the baseline. Underneath the basket for her own rebound, Hernandez kicks it to her. Quick dribble in, floater. Empty-handed. That's a couple good looks for Mexico. Shot clock, Beltran, right at the hoop. Something happened there, she halted her Jets. Rios, mid-range, she's fouled. Oh. Rios stopped and popped into a jump shot and Beltran was still recovering. Looked like she may have got popped in her face so she, or her eye, can't tell from here, but picks up the foul. Two early fouls from Mexico. Phased, a 26-year-old point guard, one of the team's six returners from last America. Misses the second. Gonzalez takes the rebound. Has with the screen. Look to feed it. All alone, Gonzalez That's rolls a in. Shot. Great shot there and a great find. And Paz did a great job rolling hard to the basket and collapsed the whole defense. Luna, pump fake. Free throw line extended, nice. gets it in the eye of That's Paz. Nice. That's nice. Same spot as earlier, shot fake, one dribble, pull up. Rio's off the curl, jumper, a miss in mid-range, and Payan will slow down the pace for Mexico. Right to the rack, she goes. 
quick move. Rejects the ball screen, the high ball screen there, and just attacks to the basket. Strong attack. Nobody in help side. Clean finish. Rios, the hands by Payan. Shot clock at four. It's got to get up. Hernandez takes it away. Great defense by Hernandez. On the other end, little backdoor action. Nunez. And Gonzalez working on the left wing. Paz way out her range. And Mexico pushing ahead in transition. Beltran will change of pace. We'll cut it over to Ramos. Driving right through the gut lane on the left. Misses. Put back by her teammate Hernandez. Hernandez. And that's why you never give up on a player, right? You're right in position right there for the offensive rebound. Nobody in sight. You're, you're dropping it in so easy. Easy two points. Coach Harding's team up by five. And that's going to force Colombia here to take a timeout. Jacqueline Luna, five points, an early five for Mexico. We'll show you what she's done. Pick and pop action there, knocking it down here. Get to see shot fake, has a defense closing out, out of control. Nice, easy shot. Behind the screen, Yunez and Payan waiting for her teammates. Head down, picks up her dribble. Ramos driving on the right. It goes down. Great job. Gets into the paint. Sees the help side coming across the paint. Protects herself and puts up a tough finish. Martinez drawing. One and done as Beltran goes back for the ball. Ramos again. This time pull up jumper mid range. Gonzalez with the screen. Rios to help. Going left, water's clear. Ooh. And it stays. That's such a good look there. Here you see the right to left crossover, sees the defense coming across. Gonzalez coming to defend the shot and just protects herself and puts enough on it to get it. Two points. Rios will take it again, left lane. This time she makes it count. This time she gets it, puts the right touch on it, gets low, gets past the defense, creates her advantage, gets her layup. Mexico out in by five, 11 6, 3.33 to play in the first. Luna, turn and shoot.
Columbia here will set up in the half court. Martinez, corner, good. Nice. nice. That counts for all three. Cha-ching. <laughs> Marios keeping her dribble alive on the baseline there and then kicking out, finding for the open shot. On the other side, Ramos trying to counter, and she does an eye for an eye. Be a blocking call here against Luna. Relatively clean first quarter. As Colombia here makes a substitution for Rios and Muniz. First time two for Mexico, we'll see Gallegos and Carla Martinez. Delgado, driving, spin, take on the block, won't go in. Slowing it down, Martinez for Mexico. Gallegos, that point guard in the second rotation for Mexico. She cuts through. Payan, ball nearly gets knocked out of her hands. And a foul on the floor. Basket doesn't count. Skip pass, corner look for Martinez. The feedback out, squaring up, letting it launch. Too much. Vente there trying to post up. Reverse, reverse was the attempt there by Lopez. Gallegos. And a whistle on the floor. Gallegos plays for the University of Tulsa. She's so shifty out there. the horn they go. Luna, a dribble in. A miss in Colombia here. Pushing forward. Gonzalez keeps the ball. And it's going to get called for the offensive. Her teammate here trying to help her out. Shoe comes untied. It's a little out of control on the drive there. Vente. I'll forget that shoe tied back up. And Coach Harding's going to make one more quick substitution during the stoppage. Diana Avila will inbound now as Payan takes a breather for the next 108. Avila driving left, spins. Oh, Ooh. looking for the cutter. No one there. Claudio Ramos did not cut to the basket. Four point game, Mexico's favor. And Muniz making a play towards the basket. I 
think a contact yeah. landed on the floor. What a champ. <laughs> Picks it up, dusts it off, goes back in the eye. And it's time to hoop. I'm sure there's some solution on the sideline that she will get in between quarters. And Coach Harding's going to make sure she's okay. We'll <laughs> sub her out. We don't know what a sticky contact is. It's blurred vision. It's annoying. She's going to go get that taken care of. Gallegos cross court. Martinez dribbles in. There's the help D. Gallegos spinning in the lane. She's denied. And now about two and a half seconds is the differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Lopez with the ball. Ventes posting up. The kick to Delgado. She's got to save it. She does. Gonzalez to Munez. Deep three. Thrusted on the board. And all the clocks. They all expire, but before Vargas thought. Vargas didn't realize that that was a shot clock that expired first. It was about a two-second difference. And so there was a whistle for traveling against Mexico. And the officials might add the, the time back on the clock. And they will. So they're going to go and review and see how much time was left on the clock. And then the ball will be Colombia's. Can you hear me? Please, the, the last call, the traveling. Show me. Okay. Come back, come back, come back, please. One more time, come back. Right. Uh, wait, wait. Remember, the violation is when the blow. you blow the whistle. Zero point okay. Four. Okay. You yeah. blow the whistle, not for the moment, the violation. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have, we have uh, the first, the first we have a. Uh, uh, no, it, it a shot, shot, shot. No, it was a shot. Okay, travel. Oh, zero, zero zero so both teams back on the court. Colombia to inbound. I heard 0 0.3. And so we're waiting for that to officially display on the score board here. 0 0.4. Ball in the pass. Right idea, yeah, right? Right idea. Don't have enough time to catch, land, and, and shoot. Get it up to pass, and hopefully she can tip it in. So at the end of the first quarter, scoreboard reads Mexico 13, Colombia 9. A four-point differential in the tilt of the host nation, Mexico. Your thoughts after the first gonna quarter? We're going to have ourselves a little battle. There's going to be a good game back and forth. We're gonna, the biggest battle right now is going to be between the two coaches on the sidelines. Tell me more. 
Well, they've got to win their matchup tonight because it looks like the players are ready to give it their all. It's going to be a, little, it's going to be a back and forth battle. A look at the first quarter stats are on your screen. And we're going to show you the best plays of the first quarter. If you haven't already, make sure you download the Courtside 1891 app. Go ahead and scan that QR code on the screen in front of you. That's where you can find all the games, scores, highlights, you name it. It's all there. Start of the second quarter, and Colombia will get the ball. They trail by four. Gonzalez will pump fake, takes it in, kiss nice. off the glass. Nice. This time she attacks on the control to step through to get to evade the defense and a nice floater off the glass. Columbia sitting in that 2 3 zone here. Under the basket with the reverse great. from Hernandez. And that's a great cut into the weak part of the defense and a drop down for the layup. Rios, mid-range, a miss, rebound, big one by Hernandez. A bill on the cut, one wow. extra pass gets taken away. Has posted up, go to work. Muniz, hand on the ball, and a jump ball is called. That's a big time rebound by Muniz there. It will go Mexico's way because that's the way that the arrow is pointing at the scores table. And that's the unfortunate part because she's the one yellow shirt amongst four, and then you got to turn to the arrow. Great for her, great fight. Luna's handoff intended for Avila. Delgado there to make it more difficult than Rios picking pockets. Laying on the right. Great job there. Playing the reverse. Got your cookies, got out and ran. Easy money. Avila hits Luna there. Back outside it goes. Vargas, three ball. And Rio slowing down the pace. Open look here for Delgado, and she drills it from Big downtown. Time. Big time shot. Colombia takes the lead with that three ball. Then it's stripped in the middle. Rios, floater, misses, catches her own rebound. Delgado, could she do it again? 
A miss, and this is going to be last touch by Colombia. And a quick timeout by Coach Harding in Mexico. And you know what? I, I understand why, right? Colombia is sitting in this zone, and right now Mexico is unable to get any good, good production, good offense, good shots. They've been turning over the last couple possessions. In the zone, is, it's easy, right? Get into the gaps. When they've gotten into the gaps, they've had success. Just joining us, we're inside Domo de la Feria. It is the final Group B matchup of the America top four teams advanced. These two are one of them. Now they're jockeying for the best position they could possibly get before the quarterfinals begin. Host nation Mexico and Colombia both walk in with a one and two record. As Beltron there slips through the defenders. We'll drive left, not go any closer nice. to pass, and it nice. was enough. Nice. So what they did there, they screened the inside of the zone, but Beltron came up and still rejected the screen, got to her, her spot and popped. Rios keeping the handle going. Yunus. A pass into Paz, turn, shoot, nobody can touch her. Nobody at all. And yeah, you know what? She'd be even more dominant and effective as, as soon as she touched the ball, it made her move faster. Payan into Luna. Thinking about it, lets it launch. Hernandez is short as off, as sh shot is off. In and out there for Munez. Step up three. Vargas, we've seen her hit that before. screen here called against Paz. Rios was just staying in her trail. Going and moving and Rios trying to be smart and sneaky about it. Playing a game of follow the leader yeah, here. Right. Beltran going through traffic. Paz knocks it away. Yeah, you know when Beltran gets into the paint she wants to get to the rack into the paint she wants to get to the rack. Pause here, timing it, she knows it. Pow. Needs some help getting the ball in. Luna gives it back. Ramos swings it. Payan, little pump fake. Extra pass again interrupted, this time by Rios with the steal. Rio's able to read and takes it hard. That's a, that's a take. That's a take. The steal for Rio's there. And 
now she will work it from the free throw line. Six points for Manuela Rios. And a miss going after that is Gonzalez. Muniz, baseline jumper. Misses Paz there. So another shot for Colombia. Paz, turn, hook. Nice. nice. Automatic. Comes right off of that screen, catches the ball right into her move. Payan hits the cutter, Luna, gives it right back. Too much on that one. Mabel Martinez pulls it down. And a four and a half to play in the first half. The Group B finale, Colombia, Mexico. It's the America Cup group play. Everybody gets off tomorrow. And then the quarterfinals begin on Friday. Hernandez. Tracked down there by Ramos. Fresh shot clock for the Mexican women. Beltran take on the left, she's fouled. She's so hard to guard when she gets downhill to the paint right. Not only is she quick, she has a great handle, but she's extremely strong and just understands how to torque her body when she's going for her finish, whether she's going on the left side, right side. Reads the defense well, real time. Three points for Beltran. That's the deficit right now her team has. Hits them both. The crowd responding with high decibels here. Rios, a push out, Mexico running, Payan all alone, laying on the left. Great pass, Beltran full, pass the full length of the court, and Payan running full speed, great catch, in stride for the finish. Here you get the look, one dribble, kicks it up the floor, Payan, good catch, one dribble, one, one dribble, excuse me, and finish. Pass, dribble, smooth. Scoreboard reads 21-21, Colombia, timeout. Giuliani Paz, the 23-year-old, with four points, two rebounds. You can see how easy it is for her here. Just catches it, turns over her right shoulder. And here, turns over her left shoulder.
inside the pass, drawing three pink jerseys. Well, that play there, she drew so much attention. She had Martinez in the corner here. That would have been a better, the, the better play, a better option on that situation. Luna left alone, elbow shot, nothing but net. Right in the middle of his zone. You see when you caught it, everybody, every yellow shoulder is looking like who has her, who has her, who's matchup. By then, the shot's already up. Nunes will try on the elbow on this end and hits it. We have a little shootout going on, don't we? Great pump fake there, Payan. Lara on the floor now, the captain for Mexico. Six to shoot, Beltran driving. The pass there intended to hit Payan in her turnover. Those are the plays you live with with Beltran, right? She makes a tremendous amount of great plays, but then there's one or two plays that she sneaks in there where you're just, you just, Coach Harding is just looking at her and saying, calm down, just calm a bit. Gonzalez had a chance, chases her board. No, they missed one. Ramos oh. thought she had Payan going oh. back door. Last minute change up. Miscommunication there. That's where you have to, before you make those back door passes, you've got to have that eye contact made. Because the cutter stops short, like we just seen right there, that is, it's an instant turnover. Right idea. Carolina Lopez. Delgado gets it back to her. Gonzalez. Martinez and her pass taken away. Beltran with the steal. Behind the back uh, dribble here. Trying to clear it out. Payan dribbling. Disrupted there. Gonzalez with the hands in the lane. One eighteen to play, 23 all. Beltran, that's a long Boom. three. <laughs> what a flex for Beltran. Mexico takes the lead. Lopez driving right. Beltran had that. Gobbled up. You see the big, the big play here, right to left crossover. Nobody steps up, she just stops and pops behind the three. Gonzalez for the screen and she's rolling. Lopez trying to find enough space. Venti had a hand on that rebound. It stays. Delgado behind the screen. 4-3, the answer. <laughs> These teams matching nearly every move of one another. 
Beltran, 10 seconds, loses the ball. Colombia covers. Martinez with three seconds. Shot goes up. Gonzalez, top of the key. Nothing there. And at halftime, it's 26-26. But Beltran lying on the floor. The medical staff checking out. Making sure Beltran is okay. Might have been a blow to the face. And she's being helped up. And halftime has begun. And you can see this, this is definitely gonna be a battle, right? A physical battle, a tough one. You're going into the locker room right now. You know, you, both coaches gotta tell your team, is the refs are letting you play, right? So we can't come back out here and complain about calls. We gotta adjust to how the game is being officiated and be the aggressive, be the one to assert ourselves early, be the one to lay the force. A final look at those halftime stats are on your screen now. We're going to leave you with a rollout of the best plays in the second quarter. And step away. We will see you at the start of the third quarter. It's knotted up 26 all. Colombia, Mexico. Third quarter when we return. Unique character, unique chemistry. FIFA Basketball World Cup is the peak of the game. It's the toughest competition in the basketball world to win. That is why I will be there. Because when you win for one, you win for all. Block is Jackson. Strong take. Strong take. Great big target. One dribble spins back. Beltran in Mexico moving the ball quickly in transition. Payan gets it. That was a great run. Beltran all over the floor. Here you see the cross court pass. A nice finish. Rios works off the screen. Drive and block, cross for header number. Get another look at it, timing. <laughs> Brazil has already edged out some close games here in this tournament. And Kai Sal showing us everything in her toolbox. 
drops it, and one. By Salvier, left right crossover, baseline, quick left hand finish. Slow pause of defense, left to right. Back and forth. You can see near the up, the spin up under, step through, finish, a whole lot of skill. Chaka's open lane, blocked Ooh. by Claro. <laughs> okay, she goes cross court pass here. Chaka's in. Woo! <laughs> Sniffing out the steal. Beats the Chagas. Didn't need a trailer this go at it. Got her dive on the floor. Nice overhead pass here. Get out Chagas fast break. Takes the contact, concentration, finish. Calling for some help. Beltran needs to get it in. She does to Payan turn and shoot. And it drops before the buzzer. Ion saved the day as the time was winding down. She just came through right at the last second. She made a job checking the clock. Ooh. And Claro backs it up with the block. Dr. Pat Ramona blocked Ooh. by Parker. You can see the back door. Bow. Get out of here.
Welcome back inside Domo de la Feria. It's halftime between Colombia and Mexico. The scoreboard knotted up at 26 all. Despina Barton alongside Javon Shepard, the former Canadian team member. Javon, these two teams equally paired for the first 20. What is going to be the X factor the next 20? Well, for, for one, Mexico has clean up the turnovers, right? You have 10 and a half, they're on pace for 20. And if they want, also want to have a chance in this, Colombia's 10 second chance points, it, it would be a little concerning, right? You got to get Colombia off the glass to really give yourself a rhythm, right? Turning over the basketball and allowing the second chance points is just something that you can clean up. And, and those aren't big issues, right? Something you go in effort play, something more, more uh, attention to detail on some of your defensive assignments, and you're right back into this thing. 0-0 zero, zero essentially right now with 20 more minutes to play. And for Colombia, if they want to pull away with this victory? Colombia wants to pull away with this victory. I think they, they still need to continue to drop the ball into the, in, into the post, into pass, where they can collapse the defense, and not for her to score, but create some plays on the perimeter. Kick out, spray it out, get some easy shots for your teammates, and play inside out. Keep it a simple game. This is the finale and group play. This is group B. And so Colombia and Mexico are both already advancing to the quarterfinals. But more or less, who wins today will be will decide who has the easier path in the quarterfinals, right? If you lose today, chances are you're going to be pinned against Brazil, the top team in group A. If you win this game, you'll get a young USA squad. Those projections are not fully set in stone just as a disclaimer for anybody listening at home but that's what the stakes are and while we have your attention make sure you scan that qr code on the screen make sure you have the courtside 1891 app that's where you can find all the streams schedules scores all the basketball of your dreams Especially if you can't be here with us in Lyon, Mexico for the FIFA Women's America Cup. Coach Harding and this Mexico squad has the fans on their side. At some point it's been deafening for Colombia. Colombia ball to start things off. Rios driving left. Little dump to Paz, can't convert. Colombia sticking with it. Gonzalez decides to take the lane. A nice little bump and Beltron, lane opens up, she takes it. Came off that screen there. Two yellow shirts bumped into one another and the lane opened up for her. We've had seven lead changes so far in this contest. And Mexico has owned the majority of the advantage over 12 minutes with the lead. Payan has the speed advantage here. Rio storming down court. The cutter, no, she'll take it herself. And she kept that ball alive and everybody was focused on Gonzalez cutting to the basket. Open freed everything up for her. Rio just dropped it right up. Right under the basket. Beltron 
hit the deck, saves the ball. Mexico keeps spinning it around, but they've got to get it up. Shot clock violation. behind the screen. Rios comes back. Has rolling. Rios puts it up. It's a decoy. Yep. I tell you, Rios is crafty. Ramos to the corner here. Hernandez, Rio's picking nearly a, that ball out of her pocket. Beltran top of the key. Has no one stepping out to guard her. Martinez and Rio's will set things back up for Colombia. Back door cut by Martinez. A miss. Beltran's eyes down court. Cutter, Payan, block from behind, Paz. And here we go, Munez. Can she get them in bang, transition? Bang, 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 bang. What a series for Colombia. Coach Harding needs a timeout. Great block by pass here. Timing. Then you see the transition three. Wow. Columbia here applying the pressure right out of the timeout. Flashing with Lara, wide open, but has his hands. It was about three seconds too late, but then the defense had already recovered. Yunez, flying deep, oh, it looked another! Good. It looked good, it looked good as soon as it left her hands. Beltran. Another turnover, and Colombia Muniz kicks it enough to Delgado, enough time to make the bucket. Right now, the, the turnovers are piling up on Mexico, consecutive possessions, it hurts. The largest lead of the game, 10 points to Colombia. Ramos to Payan. Luna gives it back. Three seconds on the shot clock. Lara turns, shoot. It doesn't drop in. Paz securing the rebound. Paz tries to lay it on the left. This is going to be last touched by Colombia. 
But I get it. Now the guards are trying to reward Paz for all her hard work down on the box. All the, all the work, right? Here you see. Luna, free throw line, a miss, Vente. We'll get it up to Lopez. Lopez, deep two. Nothing there, they're saying it was deflected. It was, so Colombia ball. Carla Martinez had a hand on it. Muniz drawing two. The kick. Lopez going baseline. And Gallagos speeding up court. Nearly a step out of bounds from Payan, and it's a turnover. Harding screaming to her team to match up. She was thinking about going 2-3 zone. Decided to stay in man coverage. Yunus through the gut. Yunus just making it happen right now. Need to stop the bleeding here. Payan can't get it to drop. Lara had all day to set it up. Another look, Gallegos for three. He got some good looks on that possession there. You know, that one doesn't hurt as much. Lee. Don't turn it over. Got a couple looks. Just got to drop them and knock them down. Munez step up three. And she has been oh, so rolling. dangerous. She is rolling right now. 13 points from Yunez, and I think that scoreboard hasn't been updated yet. She might have more on the way. There you see the kick out there out of the double team. Nobody out there to tease it up, and it's nice. She's in her bag right now. 15-point lead for Colombia. Rio sends Gonzalez through. Kicks it into the wrong team. Mexico's got to capitalize on that turnover here. You've got to get something good out of this possession. Ramos with the double team. They're smothering her. No whistle. Dial goes. Quickly, Lara gets up. And the foul comes from Colombia. Eunice there with her first personal foul. Ramos spinning, Rios takes it away. And a foul is Yunez there, and Ramos collide. Fish is going to look this over and see if they believe it was intentional. It will stay. Oh 
So an intentional call against, intentional foul against Claudia Ramos. On the free throw line, Jennifer Muniz. And the crowd picking up and making all the noise they can. One for two for Muniz. Muniz, pull up jumper in traffic. <laughs> 15 points. You gotta just feed her. Get her to rock and, and let her work. Get out of her way. Ramos, other end. Crashing the boards there. The pickup by Vargas. And no, Lara throws it away. Rios waiting for everybody to pick her up and Gonzalez gets a clean look. Gallegos. Vente with the rebound. 90 seconds left in the third quarter. Colombia with the biggest lead of the game. 18 points. Muniz driving, the clear look for Delgado on the baseline. Rolls in and out. Extra effort here by Gonzalez. Another possession. Rios. Oh, I don't know how many pink deep. jerseys she's going to attract. <laughs> Martinez, the give to Ramos, streaking down the lane. That's a great cut, and that's a great look. Feels like it's been forever since a field goal for Mexico. Oh, oh my goodness. Yunez behind the screen from Vente. It's a heat check. You gotta, you gotta give her a heat check. Martinez, and the bump from Rios. here. Drop it off, great cut, nice finish. Attack to the middle. Defense have already collapsed. Lara with the cut, the finish. That's exactly how Coach Harding drew it up. Thirteen seconds left in the third quarter. Lu Lopez with the ball. Venti with the screen. A little congested here for Colombia. Martinez with one second to shoot. She will make the extra pass and no basket. It's the right energy that Mexico needed going into the fourth quarter because the early part of that third, just a number of plethora of turnovers and just really couldn't get anything going. But credit Colombia, right? Their pressure. The way they've been playing defense, active, and they capitalize on a number of those turnovers. A 20 to six quarter in favor of Colombia. So the scoreboard reads 46, 32.
So the start of the fourth and the home team, Mexico, has some room to make up for. A 14-point deficit. And a foul going against Gonzalez. to Lara, going baseline, Paz blocks her. It stays. Block party for Paz. You see here the post-up, great post-up of by Laura, but block party. This Paz is paint. On the curl, right off the inbound, unsuccessful for Mexico. Delgado driving right, knocked out from Vargas. Rios to pass on the block. She'll go to work. A kick. Delgado in the corner for three. That's great Made basketball. It. That's great basketball. Paz gets it and again just attracts the attention. You have to help. She's so big. She's so strong and skilled. As soon as the defense collapses, she kick out. You get a wide open shot. The pass through the hands of Ramos and another turnover for Mexico. Yeah, it's six in the, in the third quarter. And Munez will take her spot on the free throw line. with 17 points. Her partner Delgado, who just hit that three, has 11. Colombia able to diversify the scoring tonight. Ramos calling for the screen. She'll go right at Rios. Find three yellow jerseys, the kick in the corner. Beltron, Great nothing look. but net. Great look. Great job keeping the ball alive and being strong with the food, the double team, and Beltron being shot ready. Nunez pulls up herself. Teammate there, Gonzalez, gets the rebound. And Paz trying to get it to Rios. Loss in concentration. Here you see the great kick up, great step through the double team. Beltran ready. Shot fluid, shot calm, shot made. Beltran getting some additional instructions from Coach Harding there. Payan, nearly the same spot. Luna fighting for the board. We're rolling with Colombia. Little change of pace. Rios pulling in and draws the contact. And for Payan, that's going to be her second. Juan 
wants an extra explainer, which she can do better next time. Rios misses both. Mexico has a crack. Beltron, the dish disrupted. Rio's just a seasoned ball handler here. Luna picks her up. Delgado from the corner. That one's way off. Payan looking down court. Payan, the hook with the left, covered by Gonzalez. Columbia's playing some really good D. Really good moving their feet, helping one another. Nunez driving. Delgado working off the screen from Paz. And another chance because Rios. Paz kicks it. Gonzalez square it up. Another one of those it. plays. Another one of those plays. And that's what I mentioned to you at half. Just get into Paz and kick right out. Rios still working the ref after the no call on the other end. 18-point lead for Colombia. Both of these teams will advance on as Paz and Colombia keeps cleaning up yeah, this is down it, the lane. This is it's turnover city for Mexico. Rios, Paz, free throw. It goes. And that will be enough for Coach Harding to call a timeout. Her second this half, she's only down to one more timeout. You can see here, Paz inside, outside, Gonzalez knocking it down. Penetration, nice float shot from the free throw line. Paz doing a bit of everything. Colombia has outscored Mexico here in this half, 29 to nine. Jennifer Luna, she's had herself a game. You see her stepping up at the three, walking into the three, jab step, hesitation, right into another one. Crossover down the middle of the paint, nice kiss off of the glass, showing you her inside, outside, mixing it up, her whole bag. Yunez with 17 points. Luna, a little pump fake, driving baseline. Around the horn, Mexico goes. Ramos, back to Payan, hook with the right. And this one stays here. The extra effort by Luna will keep it Mexico ball.
Look at the double that comes down to challenge Hernandez there. The defense stifling, like you pointed out, Javon. Rios on the run, a feed to pass. That's nice. Rios with a nice kickback. Paz with her hands ready. Just goes straight up with it. Easy layup for her. Luna from downtown. Colombia ball. They're up by 22. Nice penetration right here. Hook pass, over to pass. Nice finish. Gonzalez, back to Rios, calling for the, the screen. Drawing four pink jerseys. Who's open? Munez is open. And a foul against Paz. Mexico ball. That's just her second. 4.29 to play in this ball game the finale in Group B. So we will have the standings after this game concludes. Top eight teams advance. As Payan had a three for an answer. Big shot. Payan saying it's not over yet. There's still some left in the tank. Both of these teams on the court will be advancing in Group B, but now it's just about who has the easier path in the quarterfinals. Luna right back to Payan. The look was there, but a lot of yellow jerseys making the extra effort on defense. Another steal. Has back out Delgado and Ramos pulling down the board for Mexico. 314, 21 points to excuse me, 19 points to get back in this. Hernandez kicks it back out. Three on the shot clock. Payan. Beautiful look from the baseline. Some patient offense there. Rios. Nothing there. She'll take it. And the basket counts. She has really tore this Mexican defense up, man. Gotten to the paint. Just really gotten to use her pace, use her dribbles. Passes. And Mexico here calling their final. They need to get out and run. The 
the Jaws music here inside the Domo de la Feria as Manuela Rios on the free throw line misses the extra point and Mexico ball. Beltran kicks it. Ramos, couple dribbles in. They're looking for the three. No, they'll settle with backdoor Vargas. Great cut. Defense fell asleep and forgot about Vargas. Snuck back door. Casado in for the first time tonight for Colombia. The guard, spectacular with the handles and the defensive pressure. Yunez and Luna, part of that. Foul handed over, and we see some early chaos like Coach Harding requested. Beltran. Gets it back to her. Luna, pick and roll. Out of second. Colombia recovered. Calcedo going to work. Vente kicks it back. Three seconds to shoot. That one is short. Under 90 seconds to play. A 19 point deficit for the host nation, Mexico. And a foul on the ground. Beltran will get to shoot two here. As Colombia is in the bonus with their fouls. So Paula Beltran, the 28-year-old point guard, will tighten up her shoelaces and get ready for the free throw line. Twelve points for Beltran. Miss the first as the crowd gets silent in here. Trying to help out their home team. Misses them both. Prenz covers the rebound and Colombia here will be on the receiving end of the fouling game. That'll pretty much call the game. Belchon exits and Coach Harding makes her last substitution. A minute to play. And Calcedo and her Colombian squad up by a 19 point margin. Coach Cuenca asked a lot of his women tonight. And they made those halftime adjustments. This thing was knotted up at 26 after the first two quarters. No bow shot by Luna as that clock continues to count down.
Casado in the corner. We'll dribble in a little bit, take a baseline mid-range. No good. Shot clock is off. Gallagos with the ball. Luna. And a miscue by Mexico. And a bit of telling of this match. So we see Katia Gallegos, the 21-year-old point guard for Coach Harding. A miss there. And two misses as Prenz and Colombia here will dribble this one out. And the Colombia fans here in the stands will clap it up. They end their group play with a 59-42 victory over the host nation, Mexico. And these two teams we will still see more of in the quarterfinals. Javon, your takeaway in the final 20 minutes. Tip your hat to Colombia, right? They, they came out of that second half and they just wanted it more, right? They knew what they were up against. They increased the intensity defensively. They continued to force Mexico to turn it over. And more importantly, they, they didn't just turn them over. They turned them over and capitalized on the offensive end. And I thought when things started to get going, they made smarter decisions on the offensive end. They got Paz involved. And not only to score the basketball, but she made some big-time plays, kicking it out when the defense collapsed or doubled on her. And you got some open threes there. So there's a balanced attack offensively, great decisions, great win. And everybody's going on to the quarterfinals. Yes, that is true. These two teams, Colombia, though, they win out tonight and they get to celebrate at midcourt a 17-point victory to close out their Group B play. Everybody gets tomorrow off, and then it's win or go home in the quarterfinals. A look here at those final stats. The rebound and assist game, pretty steady. The steals, though, Colombia able to round the bases, doubling up on what they were able to have Mexico cough up. We'll show you the best plays of the fourth quarter and then wrap it up here from the Modele Faria.
stunned after the group play wrapped up. This is the current look at Group B. So Canada, the only unbeaten team, they will hold on to that number one seeding. Then Puerto Rico behind them. Colombia beating Mexico. So they got that higher seed after the victory here tonight. Dominican Republic is eliminated. They will go home. A look across Group A now in which this these teams will cross-pollinate in the quarterfinals. Brazil, the only other unbeaten at one. USA is two. Venezuela, three. Argentina, four. Cuba goes home. And so we have our quarterfinal pairings. For Javon Shepard, I'm Despina Barton. The final score here, it's Colombia 59, Mexico 42. Have a wonderful night, and we will see you for the quarterfinals on Friday.